Hey, what's up, guys? It is your friend Mayhem Soldier commentating for everyone's favorite cerebral palsy player and mine, BB Bacon Boy. Today, we are bringing you a setup video. What is Bacon's setup? What does he like to rape anus with? Let's begin. We will start with his high class. If you all notice, obviously you can't read this. I, I doubt any of your literacy. <laughs> However, Bacon's classes are Hi, my name is BB. Bacon boy. Now, BB is one word. Okay, you guys need to keep that in mind. We will begin with his high class. Hello. How are you, Mr. High Class? He has his favorite gun, his go-to gun, the ACR-68. Bacon loves the crap out of this gun. He loves this gun more than he loves me. Yeah. Yes, it's true. See? Obviously. Bacon, tell them. Is it true? Yes. Okay. See, he loves this gun more than he loves me. Your favorite commentator. I'm a new talk. Oh, it's, it's his new tar. In Modern Warfare 2, Bacon used the tar a lot, and that was his go-to gun. This is now his new tar. So what he has on this class, he has an ACR-68 with a red dot with, what is that, like an Omega scope or something? I, don't don't open it, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> with, with some kind of fancy scope that probably screws up your aim a little bit. Yeah. And impact, so that he can shoot through walls and people will be like, HACKS! But he doesn't actually have hacks. Although this one time in Black Ops we made it seem like he had hacks, but that's a story for another day. So uh, his his secondary, secondaries I should say, is the MP9 Akimbo. I suggest you all use this gun because because it is the greatest machine pistol in the world. The FNG9 can go suck a fat one, choke on it, and die. The MP9 is where it's at. This gun is the less sexy older sister of the MP5. Actually, it's the sexy older sister of the MP5, but it's the less sexy older sister to the MP7. I will go into that more into detail later. It is good for uh, turning corners, spraying the crap out of people, because now in this game, uh, unlike Modern Warfare 2, it actually has a clip that's worth your time. It will drop people fairly quickly, it has a high rate of fire, and it's got a great clip, so you might not even have to reload in between kills. Uh, maybe two or three kills per uh, spray. Moving on, his lethal equipment is the frag grenade. Bacon likes to chuck frags at people. That should be pretty self-explanatory. I don't think I need to go into that. His lethal... Oh, no, his tactical, sorry, is the portable radar. Now, portable radar is a very, very nice thing to use, unless the other team is using Assassin, which 75% of the time, 9 out of 10 dentists say that the other team will be using Assassin. I say dentists because I love dentists. Dentists are amazing. They make you feel like your mouth is never good enough. My dad. And Bacon's dad is a dentist. He pulls teeth. He pulls teeth out of people. Obviously, a really cool guy. So... Portable radar, very helpful. Helps your, and it also helps your team, so you should all not use it, because I would be so pissed off if an entire team was running around with portable radar. His perks break down like this. Slide of Hand Pro, which lets you reload and swap weapons, weapons faster. If you don't know that, stop playing Call of Duty, stop playing Battlefield, whichever you are playing, and learn that. <laughs> Quick Draw Pro, it's a very good complement to Slide of Hand. So not only can you reload fast, but you can now aim down the sight faster. So if you're turning a corner and you think there's a guy there, you can turn the corner like James frickin' Bond or like frickin' a detective or something and be like, FREEZE! And they'll be like, whoa, And you can kill them. The final one is Marksman. This is very good for assault rifles and sniper rifles. I wouldn't say sniper rifles. Sniper rifles, you have pretty good uh, enemy acquisition. But it, it's very good for assault rifles, and it's meant for sniper rifles. However, I prefer it on assault. It lets you uh, acquire enemy names at a farther distance. It's it's basically it's a really good thing to have, but not, it's not very used. Just because Stalker, in my opinion, is superior because of the Stalker Pro, which lets you delay the time of... Uh, enemy equipment, which, you know, must piss the enemy off like heck. Uh, his kill streaks run down with Predator, Reaper, AC-130. Bacon can never get the AC-130. We don't know what it is. It's like a curse. He can always get like 11, or if he's going for a higher kill, he could probably get an Osprey Gunner if he went for it, but he can never get the AC-130. If he has it in his mind that he's going for a 12 kill streak, it just won't happen. But he, he likes this kill streak setup, complementing each other, so that he can rain hell on the enemy team, and his kill streaks are run by him. Right. Moving on. My, the my class. This class is, is Bacon's class for taking objectives, much like in Domination, where you're going to need to stand on the flag for a substantial amount of time, unless you have a team there, which in this game rarely ever happens. So, he runs around with his MP7 silenced. MP7 is the sexiest SMG you can use. It's the greatest, greatest SMG in my opinion. If you played Modern Warfare 2, 
it is equivalent to the ACR, except it's an SMG. Now the MP7 is very good for rushing. It's got a very high fire rate. It drops people like nothing, like they're nothing. If you put rapid fire on it, just it's it's not even a question if they're gonna die. It's just when. It, it's just if you can aim, they will die. That's that's how it goes. And the recoil. And the recoil is extremely low. You can snipe people. Very very low. You can snipe people if you burst fire. It's basically how that goes. With rapid fire. With rapid fire. Bacon, stop, stop interrupting. This is my commentary. I don't care if I'm doing it for you. This is my commentary. His secondary is the P99. Now, Bacon and I had a little experiment where we, we played entire games of Team Deathmatch using nothing but pistols. We were like James Bond. We were going silenced pistols, running through maps, going pew, 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 pew. Although James Bond doesn't go pew, 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 pew when he fires. Bacon raped face, whereas I died over and over and over again. But he was using the P99, and I was using the USP. There might be something in there. You guys should look into that. Moving on, his lethal is the Semtex. Unlike the frag, this is more of a, a targeted explosive. You want to make sure you get near your target. Otherwise, it's, it's going to be pretty useless to you. The frag, you can bank off of walls and stuff. So you got some leeway with that. But this one, you need to be a little more intelligent when you throw it. Unlike the monkeys who play this game, throwing their random Semtexes to buses and whatnot. Buses that do not blow up. Please, noobs, stop throwing Semtexes at buses. They do not explode. They are already broken. Moving on. The trophy system. Very helpful for capping flags. You set it down, and it stops up to two enemy explosives, and I believe uh, tactical equipment as well. Am I right? Tactical equipment as well. So you won't get stunned or flashed or exploded from a random Semtex thrown by a noob who is aiming at a bus. <laughs> The perk rundown goes extreme conditioning for obvious reasons. You can get to the flags faster. You can outrun the enemy at any time. Your team will be like, hey, yo, wait up, and be like, no, and you keep running. Quick draw so that you can run and subsequently gun. You can shoot them in the face if they decide, you know, hey, I'm going to turn this corner, I'm going to get to this flag, and I won't be aiming at the site. You can lift up your gun and spray them in the face. I covered quick draw already. Stalker Pro, like I said earlier, very helpful. Delays enemy triggered explosives, which I'm reading straight off the screen because I want to sound smart. But it's uh, it's very helpful if you're running into buildings or you're running around corners because people often drop their beddies or their claymores or their camper stuff with their marshmallows and their campfires and just be like, hey, yo, don't walk into my room. And you'd be like, no, I'm walking into your room and I'm going to take your marshmallows and I'm going to put out your campfire because I'm Smokey the freaking bear. Moving on. He's running support kill streaks on this because... It, not really, really kill streaks, but point streaks on this because if you cap, if you're capping flags, you're often going to die. It's it's inevitable. The enemy team will kill you, but at least you'll keep your point streak going. Marty Don, so if you know he does go on that random death streak, he will be able to get revenge because he'll be close enough when he dies that they will step on his grenade. Next, Next class, name. Name is not a very good class. It is a quick scoping class. You, those of you who aren't familiar with quick scoping, it's the really annoying thing to do. I, I really don't have a huge issue with it. Okay, I have a huge issue with it. I'm, I'm lying to you. I have a huge issue with it because it irritates me when people do it. It's like you're you're kind of detracting from the game if your team is depending on you. I mean, if it's in a team deathmatch or something, I don't really care. If it's in domination, I don't really care. But when you're killed by a quick scoper, it pisses you off to no end. So it's a bolt action sniper rifle with uh, his P99s again akimbo, just for those hairy situations. He's got a throwing knife for fun, flash grenades so he can flash people because Bacon's a mad flasher. He runs around town just flashing everybody. Sleight of hand, quick draw for the reasons I mentioned earlier. Steady aim so that if he decides he doesn't want to aim down the site, he doesn't want a quick scope, he can just hit fire and they'll be like, what? Sniper kill me no scope? Huh? And support again so that he can keep his point streak going. Moving on is 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 not good is is bad is is the class that bacon will never use again because he has his acr this is for an earlier earlier portion of the game bacon has his scar you know it's it's a gun you unlock relatively soon so he's got a scar he's got a red dot mp9s just all stuff you unlock very early mp9s you unlock pretty early i thought you were at no, you unlock it. That's, that's early for me. I level up to 20 in like two games. <laughs> <laughs> One game if I'm playing at my best. Um, so that's it for this class. This class I don't really need to go in depth in. He, he barely uses it. It's the, same, it's, it's the same idea as his high class, which is his Slayer class. <laughs> BB. This is his your kill streaks are not cool as my stinger class. 
He uses this class if something in the sky is scaring him. And by scaring him, I mean shooting bullets at him, dropping missiles on him, looking at him funny. In, in any of those situations, Bacon will pull out this class, he'll whip out a stinger, and be like, Hey, yo, kill Shriek. Suck on my stinger. And it'll be like, okay. And it'll go away. Next class, Bacon. His Bacon class is surprisingly non-fatty. It is very sleek. It's very slim. It's very well worked out. This class is an ACR silenced with impact mm. for those yeah. those uh, good situations where you just want to shoot through walls. You might have, uh, um, rushing it's his other rushing kind of slayer class. Now, now, Bacon uses this class in complement to one of my classes. I will not tell you the strategy he, we use for this because I don't want to see anyone else using it. It will piss me off to no end. I'm sorry. Yeah. But the strategy we use for it is very good to my class. He's running a bouncing Betty and a portable radar so that it's, it's good for holding down positions. He's got extreme conditioning so he can meet the enemy faster, and assassin so that they'll never see him coming. This class is very good for getting around the enemy lines and raping their anuses. He's also got stalker in case they have explosives back there. The kill streaks are typical three, five, seven, just good old remembering COD four kill streaks. I love them. His final class, boy. This class I'm not entirely sure about. Bacon, do you even use this class? <laughs> It's for defense. It's, it's got an assault rifle on it. I made him change it because originally he was using a different assault rifle. It was the type no, it was not the Type 95. Nobody <laughs> uses that gun. It's bad. It's the worst gun ever. Oh, okay. But uh, he has an assault yeah, rifle on it, so it's good for holding down positions. So I get run between A and B and C Right. He's got extreme conditioning so he can move in between flags and it'll be good for protecting. See, most of our classes are, most of Bacon's classes rather, are revolved around domination. And what that means is, he likes to dominate people. He likes to be the dominant species. He likes to be on top. No homo. And that is the, uh, the breakdown of Bacon's classes. I hate you all. You all probably hate me. This is Mayhem Soldier. <laughs>